Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 in the Minecraft Creative Builds world. Today I'd like to do something a little bit different. I'd like to build a house that is based on the American style of brownstone house. I thought I'd build it here, so this means we're going to have to be removing this water area. To start, I'd like to use the materials smooth stone, brick, dark oak planks, dark oak door, torches just to put some light in the area, iron bars, stone brick stairs, stone bricks and stone slabs. We will need some more materials later but that's what we need to start with. Decide where you're going to build your house and where the front is going to be. For me the front is going to be on this section here so along here will be the side of the house with the back and the back garden in that direction. Come to the corner of the plot and place a row of four bricks in a row. One, two, three, four. This will be the front of the house, just the entryway and where the stairs are to get into the house and down to the basement. On the next block here we'll actually start the building proper. So I'm going to put two blocks there so that you can see where the beginning of the house actually is. And we want to make a row of 17 in the redstone bricks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And the width of the house will be 15 blocks in total, including this first one. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Of course, you can just join up across to the front and the back of the building. And then make sure you've got a nice flat plot around the edge of where you are building and of course you will also want to go across the front of the plot with the stone bricks but we will have an entryway here so the first block there you can leave blank in fact if you knock out the first two you can pop in the stone bricks at the base. But before we go any further, we are going to want a basement entrance as well. So we are actually going to have to go down a little bit. We're going to want to go down by four blocks. So one, two, three, and we're going to have to go down a bit further, four. So to make that easier, we can of course use the fill command. So if we pick up the fourth block down with the fill command here, then we can go to the back of our pl property where we've made the wall here. And if we use air as our command, that will remove all the blocks inside and save us all the time of having to knock it all out. Now we're going to want the wall to be all the way down here. So I'm just going to fill that in here to stop this water running away. You probably won't have that particular problem in your world because you're probably a little bit more sensible than me in that you would probably remove the water area before you started trying to build. We're just filling our section here just to stop the water. Get back to the actual. There, that 
should stop that for us. So we should have four in total down here. One, two, three, four. In the base, you can put your dark oak planks all the way across the floor. So the command for this is Minecraft Dark Oak Planks. So if we can use the fill command to make that a little bit quicker. From one corner to the opposite corner diagonally. And the command is Dark Oak Planks. And there we go. We have our floor and the bottom of us building. So we now have all the floors in place for the basement floor of the building. Now there is going to be a little bit of change in the front obviously because at the very front of the building there will be a little entryway. This is the front. <laughs> so some of this will have to be removed to put planks in later, uh, to put stone in later for the entryway down into the basement. Let's get the structure of the building done first. So this will be the beginning. And where we place the marker, this shows you the very front of the actual building itself. From the floor level, we want to go up by 12 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you want to fill that in all the way across and all the way around on all four sides of the building. And this is where the front will be across here. The quickest way to do that, of course, is to use the fill command. The bricks are just bricks. So, oops, that's not correct. So type in fill, space, and then use the tab command to pick up the coordinates of the block that you want to start at. Go to the end of that wall and all the way down. So we're going to want to go to here with the bricks. So use space and then pick up the coordinates using tab of the new block. Then you want to put in the Minecraft command and then bricks. That gives us one of the big walls filled in. If you come to the top of the wall, you can see that it's missed out the very end one because we were down in the basement when we put it in. So put in the final brick on the end of that wall and use the fill command again. Pick up your new coordinates. Go to the opposite end here and down. We want to make sure we get that last one here in the back wall. because That's the wall we're doing now. So this very back bottom one here. Pick up the coordinates for that command, put in Minecraft, and remember the one we're using is bricks. And that gives us the next wall. Come back up to the top. Again, you want to make sure you add one more to this wall. Pick up your coordinates for this one with the fill command and the tab key to pick up the coordinate. I think you're getting the idea down to the bottom here. Make sure we're in the correct place. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, we are in the right place. Come down to the bottom brick of that wall there. Pick up your coordinates. Minecraft. Bricks. Bricks. There we go. All the way up. Pick up space in the bottom of the wall again for the first coordinate this time and then go up 
to the top, all the way over here. And Minecraft bricks. And we have the basic structure for your brownstone, all made in a nice big rectangle. Nice and simple. We're also going to want to put in an interior layout. So what I'd like to do is come all the way down to the bottom of the build and from the side which is closest to the entryway at the front come to the back of the wall so the entryway is right in the front in that corner count one two three and on the fourth block place the stone So one, two, three gaps, and then you've got your stone. Now, what you want to do is fill in a wall from this location all the way to the front of the building and all the way to the top of the building. So count across from this corner. One, two, three, and place the block on the fourth one. Check that you've got a gap of three here, and then fill in using Minecraft bricks so that you fill in a wall. In this little section here, this is where you're going to have all of your stairs and all of your entry doors into the rooms of your building. This section is where all the rooms are going to be. I'm going to keep the room layout very, very simple. We're going to just cut this area into two rooms on every floor. So if I can count correctly, I think we should have rooms of eight in length. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put the brick on the ninth one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. No, I counted that wrong then. So it's seven, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then put the brick and then one, two, three, four, five six seven yes seven and seven the reason i thought eight is i actually included the dimensions of where the wall is actually sitting easy mistake to make yes and then we want to put in the wall from here so we use the fill command again to make it quicker on the video from here we then want to go across and all the way up to the top of the building over here. So let's make sure we're in the right place. So count seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place your block and then make sure that there's seven on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So we can pick up our fill command, get the coordinates for this final block and put in Minecraft brick. And that is all of our main structural walls in place. But we are going to need more floors because we don't want one room all the way up to the top of the building. Here's where we can make it sneakily make it a lot quicker to fill this in. If you pick up on your dark oak planks, we've already got the basement floors in, so we want the height of the rooms to be four bricks in total so count one two three actually yeah one we're going to want to be able to get into the building. first one to do is knock out a front door i want that to be right next to the wall along here because in the basement area we're going to have stairs going up so this very corner is going to be utilized so you want your door into the basement to be right next to the wall. Then we count up four in total for the height of the ceilings. So one, two, let's get, oops, let me float right. One, two, three, four. And on the fifth block, you're going to want the floor. 
and then above that you're going to want one, two, three, four, and on the fifth one, place the block. And then above that, one, two, three, four, and then that's where the ceiling is going to be. And to make it easier, of course, we're going to use the fill command again. We're going to pick up in this corner. And then what we need to do, as I'm sure you've gathered, is go to the diagonal back corner of the building and do the same thing. So from here we count one, two, three, four. And then we place the block for where the floor's going to be. We now need to pick up our fill command that we've already picked up, get the coordinates for the block that we're using here. And this time we need to put in Actually, I need to check dark oak planks. I'd already forgotten, see. <laughs> so the block I want to use, of course you can change the colours if you don't like the colours that I'm using. But I quite like the idea of the dark oak planks in this type of building. Dark oak planks, and that fills in the floor all the way across the level. And for the next floor, we're going to have to count one, two, three, four, and on the fifth one, put the block, and then count one, two, three, four, and let's see. Yes, so the dimensions are correct. So now we've put it the fill command again for this block. Move to the front of the building again diagonally in order to put in the floor. For this one. It just makes it a lot quicker for building, especially when I'm trying to do it on a tutorial just to make it a little bit quicker so that the video doesn't go on for hours and hours and hours, which it might do if I was having to place every single block by hand. And there we go. And then we're going to need to fill in the roof. for the roof I actually think I might change it and make the whole of the roof the smooth sand the smooth stone block so the command for that one is smooth stone so we'll fill that in from this corner all the way over here. Smooth stone. There we go. Now on the corners of the building, what I'd like to do is every other block place in the smooth stone just to give the corners of the building a bit of a feature like so and then we go to the next corner and do the same so every second block oh wrong one next one down there every second block just to give it a bit of detail and a bit of a feature there we go come around there on all four of the corners of the building. It adds a little bit of detail and gives it a little bit more oomph. <laughs> Makes it prettier. And there we go. And as you can see, it already doesn't look quite like a complete little block. Grab the stone slabs go up to the top of the building and place a row of the stone slab across the front and all the way around. Now if you plan to build a whole row of these buildings 
one by one next to each other you're not going to then need the slabs along the side of the building where it will connect with the next house but if you're going to build it freestanding I think it just adds a little bit of detail and makes the top of the house just look a little bit nicer of course if you want an entire row you would just build this using this as an adjoining wall then you wouldn't need this row of slabs here you just have the next house here so you can build an entire row or an entire street out of these houses